start of the year again. At least if you're a wrestling fan. Because it's WrestleMania weekend, folks. As you can tell by my little graphic, this is actually part uno. Part one. Of my WrestleMania weekend. And of course, the first part always starts with predictions. And a very quick programming note. I, first of all, I'd like to thank that, that WWE official for letting me take a selfie with him. Thank you very much. You're very fan friendly. I appreciate that. Um, yep. So again, just like the little graphic said, this is WrestleMania weekend part one. And of course, we always start with predictions. So let's get into some predictions. Man, I have a lot of work. Shoot. So, we're going to do this in two parts. One, we're going to have the fan, Hobo Tom, give his predictions about all the matches. And again, there's always going to be the match of the night, the sleeper match, and the Stone Cold Lock. I have no idea what the Stone Cold Lock's going to be. Wow. At least for NXT. And then... We're going to have Dr. Tom give his more mathematical, mathematically precise predictions. Ooh, I mean, I forgot that. Why did I do that? Dum, dum, dummy. Let's see here. What's this? Oh, no, that's okay. Yep. There we go. I found one muted. So let's get some predictions started. So for the very first show on Friday. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Programming notes. So the way this is going to work. Unfortunately, I have to work. I have to pull actually two jobs on, on Saturday. So what's going to happen? Tomorrow, I'm going to live stream my R&R &R show. I have to figure out the new setup for YouTube. Hate, hate new YouTube. So I have to figure out that setup. Probably, I think, tomorrow at 6. So that's when the pre show starts, I think. I'm going to be live on YouTube. You will see this guy right here live streaming my reactions. No videos. No more copyright. No more copyright issues with me. That was my Lenten promise. Zero copyright issues for all of Lent. And Lent's been long. I don't know why it feels so long. But that's neither here nor there, though. So tomorrow, by about 6 o'clock, I'm going to be live on YouTube. Doing my, doing my normal reaction show to NXT TakeOver. Saturday night-ish. Unfortunately, I have to close at work. But I'm going to try and catch, when I come home from work, the Ring of Honor New Japan G1 card special. And I'll have my predictions on that as well. Oh, wow, I have no idea. It's gonna be a name for one of them. And then on Sunday, obviously I've angered the boss, and I have to close Sunday. And I forgot to put that in. What do you make the schedule for next week? You know what? I think I'm closing anyway. I'll pen that in. Just in case. At least I have a clue. And then Sunday, I'll probably be able to... I'll be online. I'm going to miss the pre-show. But that's semi-okay. And, and I'll say why it's semi-okay once I get into my predictions. And I'll probably be able to live stream about 8 o'clock. So I'll probably miss two or three matches. Again, depending how the matches go. 
but then I'll probably be able to get to the end, so I'll be doing a live stream for about one and three quarter shows this week, and one pure reaction show probably Saturday night-ish, whenever I get to that. Oh, well, with that being said, it's a little bit early in the morning, I had to put on my glasses, or at least it's early for me, because I do have to get to work later. So let's get ready. Let's do some predictions. And we're going to start with NXT. 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 In fact, just for NXT. There we go. You see the nice logo there. NXT. NXT. And this is my autograph sheet. I have to make... I have to, I have to send that to a friend. But that's neither here nor there. So we start off as we'll um, see here, trying to figure out what match is going to be first. I think there's going to be some million dollar towns. I have no idea what that is. Um, really, for the most part, again, just like typical NXT shows, there's only going to be like five or six matches. And when I looked on the internet, <coughs> there's only five. Of course, they always say the card is scheduled to change. So I'll fill that in as I go. US. So let's just say the UK championship starts off. You have Peter Doon versus Walter. I am going to pick for no certain reason. I think Walter. HT, Hobo Tom. That's going to be a good match. But not the match of the night. Nor is it... I don't know. <sighs> What's my stone cold love? So many moving parts. Can't even figure this out. You know what? <sighs> Walter really... Pete Dunn's held that belt for a long time. Walter wins. That is my stone cold lock. Then we'll probably have the women's four way uh, Shayna Baszler, Io Shirai, Bianca Belair, vers and Kyrie versus Kyrie Sane. Io Shirai and Kyrie Sane are going to cancel each other out. It's going to be good. I don't really see this. The snooze. I don't know. I think that might be the snooze match. I'm going to say Shayna Baszler retains. I don't see Bianca. I don't see either Io Shirai. I see, well, I see Io Shirai and Kairi Sane going on to bigger things, mainly the NXT Women's Championship as Sky Pirates. I don't think Bianca, I don't think they're going to do that. Because there's already one. So yeah, I'm going to say Shayna Baszler retains. And let's see here. For the U.S. title, this, um, yeah, for the U.S. title, or the North American title, I'm sorry. I always forget to include America's hat. Canada. It's the Velveteen Dream versus Bro, 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 Matt Riddle. I think based on what I've seen from the house shows, Matt Riddle's going to win. Okay, that's nothing. And I'm going to say, this is my match of the night. Then there will be War Raiders versus Alistair Black and Ricochet. I think War Raiders are going to retain. 
Only because Black and Ricochet have a match on Sunday, and I don't see them being both SmackDown champions and NXT champions. I see them more as the SmackDown champions than NXT tag team champions. I think just because Black, this is going to be Black and Ricochet's farewell match. No, Ricochet always does crazy flippy flippy stuff. So yeah, I'm going with War Raiders. And I've done this so often. But just going back, I think the women's match is going to be the Catnet. Catnet match. News. So all the match. No, that's not. Snooze. My snooze match. I hate I hate choosing the snooze match for NXT because it's hard to guess. Um I'll I'll come back to that. And then we have Johnny Gargano versus Adam Cole, baby. Bang or boom. I forget how what they say. I think it's bang. But it's baby. I think we're going to have a new... I think Johnny Gargano is going to be chasing that title still. He's really good at title chases. And I think Adam Cole's going to... Adam Cole, baby. The undisputed era. Leader is going to win. And I think because this is a two out of three falls match, this is going to be long. Adam Cole puts on good matches, not necessarily exciting matches. This is going to be my snooze. So that's my takeover predictions. I have, and I have no idea what order this is going to be in. I've, um... Walter, you know, let's do mine in black. I have Walter winning the UK championship. Shayna Baszler retains. Matt Riddle wins the North American championship. War Raiders retain. And Adam Cole, baby, is the new NXT champion. Oh, hey, Cheese Pot. There she is in the background somewhere. Here. Do you have predictions? How does this man, if I dare call him a man, be in such a miserable hovel? Can't believe he panders to the lowest common denomination. You, the YouTube audience, your desire for. Those that wrestle professionally of such noble profession. Watch this silliness for you view the theater of the absurd, the ballet of fine choreographedness and exquisite athletic endeavors. How can you listen to Hobo Tom? Slovenly man he is. Can't believe I ever do the show. But nevertheless, I'm here. I'm here to set aside your misgivings about professional wrestling. And I choose to give you a more educated opinion on some predictions. For WrestleMania weekend. Yes, this is the time where slovenly people such as yourselves ingest copious amounts of alcoholic beverages and hot dogs. Disgusting hot dogs. Why oh, taste so good though? Why now? But let me get to my predictions so that you may. Enjoy the theater of the absurd with an enlightened eye. 
Unlike the previous predictions, Hobo Tom, these predictions stand true and are based on factual information and mathematics. There are three events happening. Three. This hobo doesn't even have a TV set. Has to find his ways by nefarious means. He doesn't even partake of Ring of Honor or New Japan Pro Wrestling. Why is this even on the list? Terrible! But we shall start off with probably some of the more quality product that we've seen. That in of NXT, and specifically NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. I guess he probably put some funny sounds, unlike the two classics such as Greed, Tchaikovsky, Wagner. He probably played Mander the music that panders to the masses for this NXT TakeOver takes place in Brooklyn, New York, United States of America. Always be proper. And it's a very short card, like it tends to be, but very action-packed. And the matches themselves tend to be much longer, much more engaging. This is myself. And they have a storyline. There are chapters to each match. Unlike his rock and or wrestling of men beating themselves with whips. So uncivilized. Let's start things off. I have no idea. Based on this hobo's scribble. I have no idea what match is starting first, so I shall just go in the order that he has it. I'll give my predictions, again, based on facts and mathematics. Shayna Baszler, so for the women's championship, you have Shayna Baszler versus Io Shirai versus Bianca Belair versus Kyrie Singh. This is going to be a relative snooze for Shayna Baszler is going to retain her championship belt. And for obvious reasons, you have Bianca Belair, not quite ready. And it's more entertaining to watch her chase the belt than it is for her to actually receive the accolades that go along with being the women's championship. Io Shirai, Kairi Sane, they're friends, and just as friends do, they will probably cancel each other out. Again, in the spirit of friendly competition. But that's going to be long and tedious. That's going to be my snooze of the match. Again, it's very predictable. Then you have the Velveteen Dream versus Matt Riddle. This has potential. This is my match of the night. For I foresee the Velveteen Dream retaining his champion. Again, he is the dream. Matt Riddle's not quite ready yet. And the matches they have had are of outstanding quality. Again, match of the night. Then we have Jonathan Gargano versus Adam Cole. There's some... What's... Bay? Bay? Not only is the hobo uneducated, he does not know how to spell properly. And this is a two out of three falls match for the NXT Championship. Therefore, 
Johnny Gargano, who has been chasing the belts from at one point the dastardly Tommaso Ciampa. He shall win the belt in spectacular grand fashion. And he shall celebrate with his wife. Yes. So that's the proper thing. And then in a match of my caliber, Peter Dune versus Walter. Walter is going to win. He is going to. Again, yeah, mathematically, Peter Dune has had that belt for a long time. It's time to see if someone new, someone with outstanding chops, can take the belt from him. And then we have the War Raiders versus Alistair Black and Ricochet. What kind of name is Ricochet? Understand the War Raiders. Proud Viking tradition, such as the Goths, the Visigoths, the Vandals, all War Raiders. The War Raiders are going to retain their belts. Again, for mathematical reasons. Because Black and Ricochet also have matches on N and on this mania of wrestling. And therefore they will not go in as dual champions. And this is going to be my Stone Cold Lock. There she is. She's just staring. She doesn't care much. So that's NXT. Let's take a little break. And let's go in go into and delve about some Ring of Honor New Japan Wrestling. So the first thing on their pre show. Is going to be the Honor Rumble. So with this, I actually have no clue who's in Ring of Honor besides a few people. So very simply, what I did... Ooh. Wow, I didn't know that. Cabana. Oh, Cabana. Oh, that's... Oh, yes. Okay. So I know exactly what I'm doing now. I know who I'm predicting. I think. I should have left that up. Here. So, f oh. to win the Honor Rumble, I'm going to go with my heart. Colt Cabana. HT. And let's see here. Um, the next match, I think it's going to be Will Ospreay versus Jeff Cobb. I don't think this is for any title because they're both title holders. I'm going to say Will Ospreay. He does the flippy, flippy stuff. And I like flippy, flippy stuff. Next, we have Dolphin Castle versus Rush. I have no clue who Rush is, so but I do know who Dalton Castle is. Then for the women's Ring of Honor champion, Mayu Iowatini, I'm sorry, versus Kelly Klein. I'm gonna choose Kelly Klein. I have no idea. Um, so for the Bully Ray Open Challenge. Assuming it's not Colt Cabana, I'm going to go with the field on this. Because whoever it is is going to beat Bully Ray. Then you have for the junior belt for New Japan, you have Ishimori versus Dragon Lee versus Bandito. I forget who that is. 
wrote down who the champion was. I'm going to say Dragon Lee. And because these are the juniors, I think this is going to be a match of the night. Then we get into our four-way tag team match. Um, Evil and Sonata versus Villain Enterprise versus Girls of Destiny versus the Briscoes. This is for nothing. This is going to be my news match. Definitely. And I'm going to say... Rolls of Destiny. Briscoes have nothing to gain. The thing is, no one has nothing to gain by winning this. Except for... I'm going to say Grills of Destiny. Only because I'm b -b Bullet Club for life. Sweet! I'm going to say Grills of Destiny. That's going to be the snooze match. Then there's Zack Sabre Jr. versus Tanahashi. Zack Sabre Jr. I think is going to retain his belt. I forget if I actually have belts on the line. I forget. I know very little about Ring of Honor. I know a tiny bit more about New Japan, but not too much more. Then you have Naito versus Kota Ibushi. I think Kota Ibushi is going to win. They're going to push Naito for bigger and better things. Then for the Ring of Honor Championship, you have Jay Lethal versus Matt Tavin versus Marty Skrull. I think Jay Lethal is going to retain his belt. I just don't see that as a belt that they hot potato around. See, that's my stolen cold lock. Jay White versus Okada. Okada gets that belt back. So for my Ring of Honor New Japan Supercard rundown. We have Cole Cabana winning the Honor Rumble. Will Ospreay goes over Jeff Cobb. Dalton Castle goes over Rush. Kelly Klein goes over Mayu Iowatani. I'm going to choose a field versus Bully Ray. Dragon Lee is going to go over both Ishimori and Bandito. Rules of Destiny go over Evil. Evil and Sonata, the Villain Enterprises, and the Briscoes. That's going to be a snooze match, only because, I don't know. Zack Sabre Jr. is going to defeat Tanahashi. Naito, um, Ibushi is going to go over Naito. Jay Lethal is going to retain his belt. And Okada is going over Jay White. Moving on to the Ring of Honor. New Japan Supercard of Honor. I guess that's what they call it. We have, starting off, we have the Honor Rumble. And for this, let's see, let me determine. He has one called Colt Cabana on there. Do not know who that is. So I shall determine that Let's see. So think about it. I have to go back far in my memory. I shall say Brody King. Yes, a man with such royal name shall triumph 
in this athletic feat. Then we have Will Ospreay versus Jeff Cobb. Will Ospreay can will also triumph. Dalton Castle versus Rush. What man uses a verb as a proper name? Dalton Castle will, of course, win. Iowatini Mayu. Always say the names properly. Put the family name first. Versus Kelly Klein. Miss Mayu is going to be victorious. However, this is probably going to be the low point of the match. This, my snooze. I shall. Take a little nap and recharge myself. Just so much wrestling. Bully Ray Open Challenge. Never bet against the field. The odds are so much in your favor. You choose whoever he faces. I will say, because he has not had time to prepare against said field. I shall say whoever comes out and dares answer this open challenge. You have. Ishimori versus Dragon Lee versus Bandito. I shall go with a one person as a proper name. Ishimori. A man whose name is Evil? And Sonata versus a villain Enterprise. What kind of ruffians are these? Versus the Gorillas of Destiny. Versus the Briscoes. Those redneck kung fu chicken farmers. I shall choose Evil and Sonata to win. I don't know why they have these matches. They've just added people. Ridiculousness. Then there's Zack Saber Jr. versus Tanahashi. I have Zack Saber Jr. going over, and this because of the technical wrestling ability and the difference in styles between a very technical sound. Grappler such as Zack Saber Jr. versus a more flamboyant Tanahashi. This shall be my match of the night. Then the dastardly Naito versus Kota Ibushi. Naito should retain that belt for Kota Ibushi is destined for greater things. Naito retains his Intercontinental Championship, but he must still trade that for some quality yellowtail or some bluefin tuna. Yes. And one of the more established eateries in Japan specialize in. X high quality sushi and sashimi. Next, we have Jay Lethal versus Matt Tavin versus Marty Skrull, the villain himself. The villain shall go over by nefarious means, for that is what villains do. I shall choose Martin Skrull. And then we have Jay White versus Okada. Kushida Okada. This is going to be a true festival of wrestling. A ballet of musculature, of imposing one's will on another. Kushida Okada shall rise victorious. And this shall also be 
This is going to be... Ooh, oh. This shall be my stone cold lock. Now it's time to get on to... And now let's come back and talk about the whole shebang, the main event. And wow, is this going to be a long card. The free show starts at 7. The USA is starting, the USA Network is starting at 6, or you're missing an hour of it. Oh boy. Let's see here. In the Men's Battle Royal. I'm going to choose an outlier. I'm going to say EC3 e wins. Only because they have done absolutely nothing with him. The Battle Royals generally is someone they, they do absolutely nothing with. Perfect for EC3. And the Women's Battle Royal... I'm going to say. Still want Oscar to win. Yeah, they're going to make Oscar. They're going to give Oscar a feel good moment for WrestleMania after the fact that they took the belt off her. So it's going to be Oscar. This is going to. No, that's not my snooze match. Then you have Buddy Murphy versus Tony Nice. I think Tony Nese is going to win, and that's going to set up something for Drew Gulak and Tony Nese. Then you have the Usos versus Ricochet and Black versus The Bar versus Shinsuke and Rusev. I'm going to say they pulled up Ricochet and Black for purpose. Let's say Ricochet and Black win. Angle versus Baron Corbin. They're not pushing Corbin. He's a good hand, but they're going to give Kurt Angle his fuzzy good moment in NXT or in WWE as a, as a send home. Kurt Angle's going to win. The whole locker room's going to come out, put him, carry him off on his shoulders. So it'll be a fuzzy feel good moment. The Miz versus Shane McMahon. It's going to be The Miz. Shane's there just to do crazy stuff. And let's see here. What's my... Let's see here. Okay. So then we have the women's tag team four-way. It's uh, Sasha Banks. Bachi Sasha Banks. And Bailey versus Beth Phoenix and Natalia versus Nia Jackson Tamina versus the Iconics made up of Billy Kane, Peyton Royce. Hate to say it. Beth Phoenix and Natalia aren't winning it. I don't know. They, I'm going to say Nia Jax and Tamina win. Yeah, Nia Jackson. This, however, folks, is going to be my snooze match. Samoa Joe versus Rey Mysterio. I'm not even sure if that's going to happen. I'm still. I'm going to pick Samoa Joe. He's going to retain. He recently won the belt. He's not there to hot potato it. Not even sure if that match is going to be happening. Bobby Lashley. Versus Finn Balor, and we had a tease of Demon Balor. With that tease, I'm gonna say Demon. I'm gonna say Finn Balor wins. That's my Stone Cold lock because the Demon never loses. Triple H versus Batista. Oh, I'm so torn on this. This is gonna be a really fun match. I'm gonna say Triple H wins. No, I'm going to say Batista wins. 
I change my mind. I reserve the right to always change my mind. Batista wins. And AJ Styles versus R Randy Orton. Can't go against AJ Styles. The freaking match machine. And I'm going to say, yeah, let's see here. Um, Roman Reigns versus Drew McIntyre. Roman's going to get his feel good moments. Daniel Bryan versus Kofi Kingston. I can't go against Kofi Kingston. Brock Lesnar versus Seth Rollins. I think Seth Rollins is going to win. I think Lesnar is going to take a little break from WWE for a while. So they'll have to put the belt on someone a little bit more relevant. Seth Rollins wins. And probably just like every, every other mark in the galaxy, I'm going with Becky Lynch. And this is going to be... I always like the usual weights, though. I'm going to say this is the match. Of the night. Well, just a recap of my picks for WrestleMania. Asuka wins the Battle Royal. EC3 wins the men's Battle Royal. Tony Nese picks the belt off of, takes the belt off of Buddy Murphy. Ricochet and Black become SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Kurt Angle wins. The Miz wins. Um, Jax and Tamina win. They, they pick up the belt over the other four ladies. Samoa Joe wins, assuming he has a match. Finn Balor, more importantly, Demon Balor wins. That's my stolen cold lock. Again, the women's match was a snooze. Batista versus Triple H, because that could be interesting. That could keep it alive and, and have things continue a little bit. You never know. Could be also Batista's kind of retirement. In this way, there is no such thing as retirement in pro wrestling anyway. So that so that doesn't matter. Um, AJ Styles defeats R Randy Orton. That should actually be a really good match. Roman Reigns over Drew McIntyre. Kofi Kingston over Daniel Bryan. Seth Rollins goes over Brock Lesnar, and Becky Lynch takes all the titles for the women. And those are my predictions. Um, we just we'll hear next from. Dr. Tom, again, you can always feel free to like for what has gone through the head of a Vincent K. McMahon, a Stephanie McMahon, and Paul Levesque to put together such a time-consuming, ill-conceived day of wrestling. This is a day where the theater of the absurd should be uplifted, not brought down to what the common plebeians desire. How long is this going to be? They not realize that people of my stature have better things to do on a Sunday than to sit in front of a television set or computer and watch all of this, only some of which is good, some of which is hovel, like swine and their pens, terribleness. So first we have the Women's Battle Royal, because they have teased it so much. Asuka, unlike the predictions of one mediocre hobo Tom, Asuka will not win. For the mathematics say Asuka stood tall, and therefore someone else shall be victorious. I believe this shall be the debut of a certain Lacey Evans. She will no longer just distract the men with her classic, timeless attire. She shall be victorious in the Women's Royal Rumble. Then in the men's battle royal, they have two people who aren't even professional wrestlers. What 
silliness. What mediocrity is this? There's only one person deserving of that win. That's his person in the top 1%. That gentleman, man of distinguished grappling credentials, is Ethan Carter III. And a fabulous display of grappling, striking, showmanship. We have Buddy Murphy versus Tony Nese for the Cruiserweight Championship. As always, when you combine the excitement of the high-flying abilities, the gravity-defying of some individuals with the more traditional Matt style grappling. I shall say Buddy Murphy triumphs and retains his cruiserweight championship. And this, unlike the common masses say, will be the match of the night. Even though it's relegated to such a low position on the card, it deserves better. And you have the Usos of James and Jason Russo versus Ricochet and Alistair Black versus The Bar, comprising of Sheamus and Cesaro versus Shinsuke Nakamura and Rusev. With this, the Usos shall retain their championship. However, the sh could be a match one skipped. Ricochet and Black, they're destined for better things than this. The Usos are much better as champions. Even though they did fall, though, the bar is not going to win. They're too dastardly. Shinsuke and Rusev, I don't know how they can communicate with each other. And Lana is confused in her enunciation of words. Again, Ricochet and Alistair Black did stand tall, even though the Usos won. The Usos shall retain their championship belts. You have Kurt Angle, true American, versus Baron Corbin, Kurt Angle shall be victorious. The Miz versus Shane McMahon. Miz will retain will retain his honor and dignity. His family shall be victorious over the dastardly Shane McMahon. Then you have the women. Of Sasha Banks and Bailey, the Boston Hug Connection, versus Beth Phoenix and Natalia, versus Nia Jax and Tamina, versus the Iconics. Sasha Banks and Bailey shall retain their belts in lackluster fashion. Then Samoa Joe versus Rey Mysterio Jr., or some other opponent. You never doubt the hard hit. Ooh. It's going to be Rey Mysterio. The reason behind that, Samoa Joe stood tall against Mustafa Ali. Whoever his opponent is, Samoa Joe already had his triumph. Unfortunately, after the triumph comes the fall. Therefore, shall be Rey Mysterio. Or if you believe these rumor mongers, whoever he faces. We have Robert Lashley versus Finn Balor. In this case, Finn Balor shall be victorious. And in my. Well, no, that's not going to. You have 
Paul Levesque, also known as Hunter Hearst Helmsley, also known as Triple H, takes on David Batista. Triple H, because his career is on the line, he shall be victorious. What is this? There are wild beasts. Did you see this? There are wild beasts running in this dwelling of Hobo Tom. What man? What, what? Ah! And you have AJ Styles versus Randy or Randall Orton. Arthur James Styles shall be victorious. Roman Reigns versus Drew McIntyre. Roman Reigns shall overcome the Scottish psychopath. You have Daniel Bryan versus Kofi Kingston. This is my match of the my match of the night. The Kofi Kingston shall go over. Oh no, this is going to be my stone cold lock. And then because Seth Rollins dare stand tall and stand over the WWE Universal Champion Brock Lesnar. Even though by nefarious means, what man dare uses punch the groin from another man. So uncivilized. Even more uncivilized than letting these wild beasts into an office space. Brock Lesnar shall retain his championship belt. And then for the main event of the evening, we shall have Ronda Rousey versus Charlotte Flair versus Rebecca Lynch. Rebecca Lynch has the most to gain from this. But Charlotte Flair has the most to lose. Charlotte Flair becomes the undisputed holder of all belts and carries on her father's noble legacy. Those are my predictions. Thank you very much. Sure, Hobo Tom put some